Hello guys, my name is Noel and you are welcome to my YouTube channel. Please kindly subscribe to my channel if you have not done so and do not forget to smash the like button and of course you can share this video as well. So my channel is designed to help you uh, assess important information on how you can study abroad, especially in the European Union at a very affordable tuition fees. Um, I am motivated to help you have access to the right information uh, so that you can be able to make this application by yourself. Because I believe that if you have the right information, then you can obviously make the right decision. So if you are committed, if you are determined, if you are focused and you want to study abroad and you are serious about that, then my channel is the right place for you to be. I've, I've lived in the UK, Luxembourg, in Prague, so based on my experience and my research skills, um, I always try my best to get you guys the right information that will help you to make an informed decision. So today, um, I've, so many of my subscribers have, to, have been asking me some questions uh, through my YouTube channel, my Instagram, Twitter, and then I try to compile some of these questions. And then sometimes I try to make a video to address some of these issues that were raised by people, by my subscribers and those who ask me questions online. I responded to most of these questions and I do respond to most of the questions asked in my channel. But I felt it's also important to make a video about some of these points, these areas that people are concerned about. And of course, Luxembourg is one of the most preferred destination for a lot of people um, who wants to study in Europe. And, and because of that, I have a lot of things to say about Luxembourg today in today's video. So if you want to study in Luxembourg, or you're already in Luxembourg, or you're planning to come to Luxembourg for your studies, uh, there are certain things you have to be aware of. And this information I'm going to provide to you guys now will help you to plan properly and to settle properly in Luxembourg. So, by the way, if you are planning to make your application uh, to study in Luxembourg for 2024-2025 academic year, uh, remember that application will open from February 2024 for non-EU nationals. So, for today, I want to talk about studying and living in Luxembourg, how to spend less, uh, settle down, shopping, job prospect, renewing your prison permit, and everything that surrounds about your well-being or your studies in Luxembourg. So let's start with accommodation. So try and find accommodation within the University of Luxembourg, for example, because it is cheaper there and um, it is more affordable. Uh, house rent can be more expensive if you try to look for house outside the university campus. So, from my experience, it's always advisable to apply for university accommodation. And the secret of getting that accommodation, because again, it is highly competitive, the secret is that you have to make your application for admission very early and on time. So that once you get your, get your admission offer, then you can be able to apply for your accommodation straight away. So for you to secure accommodation at the University of Luxembourg, you must apply for admission on time. And then once you secure your admission, then you can apply for the University of Luxembourg accommodation. Okay? Food and shopping in Luxembourg. Um, during my time in Luxembourg, I always shop at a very particular shop. Uh, supermarket is called Delis, Delis supermarket. So if your campus is in Belva, um, if because the University of Luxembourg has uh, uh, three different campuses, Limpeshbach, Kishbach, and then Belva. 
So because I was doing my master's in system biology and faculty of sciences, most of them are in Belva campus. So there's a very big Delis supermarket just inside Belva Plaza, which is within the University of Luxembourg environment. So everything you want is there. So check out Delis. Um, they have branches across Luxembourg. Um, and they have a shopping, uh, they have a supermarket within shopping plaza, uh, within, within the Belva Plaza, which is a very big shopping mall, uh, in Belva. So they have several products such as fruits and vegetables, bakery, bread, pastries, wines, meat, fish, dairies, organic foods, plant-based food, vegetarian, uh, vegetarian specialists. Uh, all dairy, uh, daily needs. So just check it out there. They have a very good prices and of course pay attention to discounts, special sales and if your lectures are within the campus so you can just buy your food after lectures and then get into your accommodation. So it's quite easy. And the opening hours from Monday to Thursday they do open from 7.30 a.m. to about uh, uh, let's say 8 p.m. and then Friday, Monday to Thursday, they open from 7:30 a.m. to 8 p.m. Friday 7:30 a.m. to 9 p.m. Saturdays 7:30 a.m. to 8 p.m. and Sunday 7:30 to 1 p.m. So these are opening hours. There's also another shop called Action Shop, also in Belva Plaza, in Belva Campus at University of Luxembourg. And this action, if you, if your camp, if your lectures are in Belva campus in Belva, they also have other outlets, but I'm talking about one that I'm not, I know about, which is where I used to do my shopping when, when I was doing my master's at the University of Luxembourg. So they have shops in Belva Plaza. And if you want to buy things like kitchen utensils, pots, spoons, plates, household items, stationery, and office items, toys, getting travel, hygienic and beauty, drinks and food, multimedia, fashion, sports stuff, pets, and electronics, you can get them at Action Shop. Okay? Opening hours for this Action Shop, Monday to Fridays, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Saturdays, 8, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. So check them out. Also be a, pay attention to special sales, special offers, discount, of course. Wouldn't you want to save some money? Come on, of course you would. So banking in Luxembourg. I would recommend BGL BNP Paribas Bank. BGL BNP Paribas Bank is a very international foreign friendly bank. That's the bank I was using when I was in Luxembourg. And they have branches across Luxembourg. They have branch in Luxembourg City, just at Luxembourg Gar, Luxembourg Bus Stop. They have branch uh, in Belfast Campus, just within the university environment. So it's an international friendly bank. You know, some banks may be discriminatory you know, to some students. So, but BGLBNP Paribas Bank it's a very good bank and they are international friendly bank. You can open an account with them with your passport, um, resident permit, admission certificate from the University of Luxembourg, for example, proof of address, EDC. Okay? And they have branches across Luxembourg in Belva campus, Luxembourg City, and so many other places in Luxembourg. So I would recommend BGL BNP Paribas Bank if you want to open a bank account in Luxembourg. So once you're in Luxembourg, as a foreign student, you are, you can open a bank account, okay? So make sure you open a bank account to a bank that is a traditional uh, friendly bank. But I have to also give you a note of caution. Do not use your bank account for criminal activity. I repeat, do not use your bank account for criminal activity or fraudulent activities. Do not allow people or anybody to use your account for dubious transactions or criminal activity. Any suspicious transaction must be reported to your bank and the appropriate authority. Be careful, one wrong move may land you into jail.
and you ruin all what you have worked for, be very careful. Don't allow your bank details to be used by anybody for any criminal activities. You are in the country to study. Face your studies and be careful not to break the law of the land. If you get a job, do your part-time job, let your savings be in your account, but do not engage in any other thing that will jeopardize your stay in the country. Please, your destiny is in your hand. Let me talk about renewal of your resident permit. Please renew your permit on time. Do not wait until the last day of expiration of your resident permit. Start the renewal process months before the actual expiration date. Check the website of the, of the Immigration Directorate for any changes in immigration rules and policies. As a student in Luxembourg, it is your responsibility to check out any changes in immigration rules and procedures and make sure you are aware of these changes before making your application. Do not wait for your renewal until the very last minute. If you do not apply for your renewal on time and you have problems, they might ask you to go back to home country and apply from there. I know how difficult that can be. So be very, very conscious of your status in the country and make sure you start your renewal process on time before the actual expiration date of your resident permit. Let's look at working as a student in Luxembourg. Working as a student in Luxembourg. Check out my channel for videos on how you can work during your studies in Luxembourg. As a matter of fact, you are allowed to work part-time during school sessions. And if you are a certain age, you can work full-time during the holidays. The best way to get a job faster in Luxembourg, if you are a student, is to apply within the university. For example, if you are studying at the University of Luxembourg, you can apply for university-based jobs, which are mostly in English. So a lot of these professors, different labs, uh, laboratory uh, units, they do require students for different tasks. For example, the Luxembourg Center for System by Medicine which is within the University of Luxembourg in Belva campus, they have several jobs for students. Laboratory attendant, autoclaving, secretary job, assistant job to different researchers, so you can check them out, okay? When I was at the University of Luxembourg, I was working at the Luxembourg Center for System Biomedicine throughout my residence in Luxembourg. I have no reason to look for a job anywhere else. So my part-time job was within the university environment and within the campus. I just finished my lectures and I walked two, three minutes to the LCSB, which is, which is the Luxembourg Center for System by Medicine. And I do my part-time job and from there, 10 minutes, I'm in my hostel. That's it. So from lecture, work, home within this environment. So check them out. And of course, check out the University of Luxembourg job website. They always advertise jobs all the time. Temporary job, PhD jobs, uh, part-time jobs. And you can send email to professors. Check their, their website, contact them. They're looking for part-time job. You know, start on time once you land in the country if you want to do a part-time job. But don't forget your primary responsibility of coming to the country is to study and not to work. So make sure that your job does not in any way affect your ability to concentrate and focus in your studies, okay? Working after graduation, the law allows you to work full-time as a salaried worker with work permit at the end of your study, successful completion of your study, successful completion of your study. So make sure you are focused, you take your study seriously because at the end of that, you can work full time in Luxembourg. And don't forget, if you reside in Luxembourg for five years, I think lawfully, you are also qualified to apply for 
naturalization. You just need to pass the language test and then fulfill other requirements and you can apply for naturalization after five years of lawfully residing in Luxembourg. But once you finish your studies and you have graduated successfully, you can apply for work permits as a salaried worker. Even if you have not gotten a job, you'll be offered nine months resident permit for the purpose of looking for a job in Luxembourg. So there are fantastic opportunities for you to settle in Luxembourg after your studies. But make sure, first of all, you obey the laws, you don't break the laws of the country, and you are focused with your studies. Please always check the official website of the Immigration Directorate for more information and changes in immigration policies. Why in Luxembourg? Voluntary opportunity is always important to be part of the community and make a positive impact. This is how you can build your profile while living in the country. When I was in Lux when I was doing my masters at the University of Luxembourg, I was a volunteer at one of the projects in Edge so Az community. And it was a fantastic project which I was proud of being a volunteer. You know, don't just stay there and be an onlooker, be part of the community. Find some way to utilize your skills to impact your community. So look for voluntary opportunities within the community and be part of any of them that will uh, give you the opportunity to, to impact the community positively. French language. Learning the language will help you to integrate better in the society and it also opens windows of opportunities for you in the country. Yes, there are jobs that you can do without knowing speaking French or writing, being a French speaker. However, the more you understand the language, the more your chances of having better opportunities. So, if you can, try and learn French language as much as you can. When I was doing my second master's at the University of Luxembourg in Integrated System Biology, the university usually have a free French class. I think it's once a week for all students. So check out if that's still, um, if that is still ongoing, you can enroll on the language program. Whether you want to learn French, Luxembourgish, or German, I think it's always once a week. Check out that and you can start learning languages in, in the country. This will help you in the bigger picture, okay? Transportation. Remember, there is free transportation in Luxembourg for everyone. The first country to ever do that, based on my recent research about this. So, transportation is free for everyone in Luxembourg. So, above all, take your study seriously and obey the laws of the country and the terms and conditions of your visa. If you do the right thing, if you're hardworking, if you are consistent, if you are focused, if you are intentional and deliberate, success will eventually be yours. Remember, you have the power to bend reality and create your own future. Nobody will do the work for you. It's all about how you approach your goals in life. Remember, dreams may not be enough. You need to activate your dreams and unleash your potentials to your world. The universe is waiting for your manifestation. What are you waiting for? The time is now. Again, we have the power to bend reality and create your own future. I am the manifestor. Nakupenda. God bless you all and see you soon. You know that you can study abroad and pay as little as 200 euros per semester. Yes, 200 euros per semester. You don't have to break the bank to fulfill your goal or ambition of studying abroad. So visit my channel, you're gonna see videos of countries in the European Union Schengen Zone where you can study and pay a very low tuition fees and even in some cases free of charge. I have videos across countries like uh, Luxembourg, the Czech Republic, uh, Belgium, Austria, Slovakia, Hungary and so many others.
All you need is the right information and you can be able to do this thing yourself. Remember, you have the power to bend reality and create your own future. Stop dreaming, stop thinking, start acting. Click on my channel, visit my YouTube channel and watch those videos. Like, subscribe and then drop your questions. Together, we can make it. Come on, let's go.